Alright, so we're in my granny's kitchen again and uh, we're going to be making some jelly. This is some I made earlier and I've eaten about two thirds of it. But uh, yeah, this time I'm going to be trying to do the Dalek jelly again. Now, last time when I did try to do this, it obviously kind of failed. And the reason is, is because uh, something that I didn't take into account in when making the jelly, the biggest mistake I made in it was uh, adding the fruit. I added far too much tinned fruit uh, to the jelly. So that basically made the jelly a bit too heavy and also the juice that was in the fruit and that obviously, you know, made the jelly a lot more liquidy so it didn't quite hold together. I did still eat it though, it was still nice but uh, yeah it didn't hold it together so what I'm going to be doing this time is I'm going to be doing the jelly again. I'm not going to be adding any fruit uh, to it this time and also I'm going to slightly tweak with the way it's going so normally what happens is you know you get a sachet of jelly uh, this one's already been open, but you get a sachet of jelly like this and you add half a pint of boiling water and then half a pint of cold water while whilst mixing them together. So basically what I'm going to do this time around is, is that I'm going to add slightly less cold water before I finish mixing them. So hopefully that should make the jelly a little bit thicker and should hopefully you know, make this go a bit better, so fingers crossed, so let's just see how it goes, shall we? Alright, so um, I've got here how much is this jug again? I think it's a pint and a half yeah, so I've got a pint and a half of jelly here, which will be slightly thicker than it's meant to be, it's meant to make just shy of two pints so the jelly will be a bit thicker, but you know, it should work out. I'm just literally pouring it into this mould. Here, and uh, I'm just going to have a pint and a half in it. We'll see how far that makes it up to. Alright, so if I just bring uh, the camera in a bit closer. I know it's hard to see, but uh, that's basically how much jelly I have uh, made and put in there. Now I could probably get at least, you know, I could probably get at least another pint in there, maybe a pint and a half. But I'm gonna leave it at that for now. So we're just gonna see how well that turns out. If it does, actually, I might make another one, and this video will keep going on. But yeah, hopefully this. You know, since this one doesn't have the full weight of that as well, hopefully it's. It'll just, you know, solidify um, overnight, so we'll see how it is in the morning. Okay, so it's the next day. Apologies if you can hear the boil in the background. So, it has solidified. The problem is getting it out. Now, I've put some tin foil down because uh, this mould is larger than a regular sized uh, plate. So, I've just put some tin foil down for now, and what I'll probably do is. Uh, cut it up after that and put it in some bowls so uh, yeah Let, let's see the, the, well it's doing a little bit better than last time but it's not all kind of spilling oh look look I just want to see that it's actually coming out so yeah I don't know I don't know how I'm really going to get it out um, what I might do I don't want to... What I'm going to do actually, I'm just going to put a knife around it very gently and the reason I'm going to be very very gentle is uh, I don't want to uh, poke a hole in this uh, mould yeah like I said this, this uh, Dalek mould is meant for a cake it's not meant for jelly, so yeah, it's not meant for anything this malleable. So I've just went over it a bit with a knife. Uh, mm. All right, here we go. Uh. 
Okay, a little bit better than last time. It's a little bit better. So if I um, zoom in on X, I don't know if this this will not pick up on. This probably is not going to pick up on camera. I'm just trying to get it uh, just about right there. There we go. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually come out how it was supposed to. It's hard to see on camera, but uh, yeah, unfortunately it split here as it came out. But it has actually come out how it was supposed to. Yeah, you can actually, I don't know if you can just about see that, the uh, hemispheres, but it, yeah, the camera isn't picking, I don't think the camera is picking this up um, how it really should be. I don't know if that makes it a bit better. But yeah, it technically has worked. The problem is this mould uh, you can see uh, bits of the jelly are still in the hemispheres but it has kept its shape it has actually kept its shape I'm gonna, just gonna cut a bit off on on car it mm, yeah that is actually better than last time as well but if I just cut a bit you can see that this is actually a lot f it is thicker so yeah that is quite nice. I do like my jelly to be a bit thicker. Mm. Mm, that is good. Um, we'll see if we can get any more of it out. We'll see. I'll, I'll put this here. And uh, we'll zoom out a bit. So we'll put the camera up slightly. And now that section is not want. This is not wanting uh, to come out. What I might do is just get. I won't. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to pull it out. Um, yeah, that's another thing is that the jelly uh, is sticking to the mould. Mm. That is another thing. That's another thing that the jelly is sticking to this mould because you know what you're supposed to do is obviously you know grease this mould when you're making a cake so yeah I didn't factor that in because this is basically a you know silicon kind of rubber material but yeah I mean it kind of worked it didn't all plop out in a mess the bottom section definitely worked so yeah I think Actually, you probably have better luck if they, I mean, they never did do any more of these, but if they made a TARDIS one, it would probably work with the TARDIS one um, a lot better, mainly because there's, you know, less grooves and bumps, it's also more square and even on both ends, but, you know, this is what we got in the end, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to attempt making it again, um, suffice to say. Mm. Mm. But, you know, it, it did a good job. Mmm, that, that is nice, that is nice, that is nice jelly. So, yeah, that's how to, not how to fail at making Dalek jelly again. Uh, so, yeah, we got a lot closer, we got, got a lot closer, I say we, I'm the one who fucking did it. Uh, I got a lot closer this time, um... If anyone does have one of these moulds and uh, has a go at it, please let me know. You can send me it on Twitter or whatever, or even do a video. But yeah, I'd like to see if anyone w could actually d do this. Now, it would probably work better though. Like, see, I could probably do chocolate in this. I could probably do chocolate in this. Uh, the problem is, is that that is a fucking lot of chocolate to fill up. I mean, if I just take a look at the bottom section there you know that would be a lot of chocolate to fill that and uh, for me that no be too much um, so yeah that there, there we there we go I guess there we go but yeah uh, if you've got any other suggestions on what I could make in the Dalek cake mold um, then yeah please uh, let me know below bye bye that's it for this video and I'll see you next time bye bye